guys welcome back so today in this video we're going to talk about the logical operators that are available in PyScript. in any other programming language and in PyScript, we need the logical operators because sometimes we need to draw a comparison between uh, two variables or two expressions and in that case we need the logical operators okay there are three logical operators that are available in PyScript and all other programming languages as well the first operator is this not or negation operator this operator is used in order to inverse the result okay so if the result is let's say for a comparison result is true and if we apply the not operator with that variable or that result the result of that expression will be false so it is used to invert the expression or the result and the second one that is uh, available is ant logical conjunction and it is used to combine two expressions or two comparisons and if the result of both those expressions is true only in that case the or result of that expression that whole expression will be true i'll be showing you in, with example as well in this case here the third one is the or logical distinction operator and it is used where we want to compare two terms and even if the result of one expression is true the output of that expression will be true so the next thing is that operator not is unary okay so when it means when it's applied to true the operator result will be false and vice versa so this is the same thing that i just said in the beginning that we apply the not operator to single expression we don't need two uh, entities or two variables to apply the and or not operator okay we apply it to the single one and it inverses the result so let me just show you the truth table of and and or operator so here we have the and operator truth table and let's say we have two variables the first variable is a and the second variable is b so in these both cases these both variables or these both identifiers are boolean okay their results are either true or false so we're gonna draw the truth table for and operator and we're gonna see if we apply and operator between a and b what will be the outcome so here the first row says if a is true and b is true that means that both a and b are true and we have applied the and operator so the outcome of this expression will also be true the second one is that a is true but b is false so in this case as i said in and operation or when we use the and operator both the expressions should be true in this case here the a is true but b is false so the result of that outcome will be false the third one is false a is false and b is true in this case as well the result will be false because one of these expressions is false now here uh, the fourth row says false a is false and b is false so as both of these are false then that means that the outcome will also be false so from the table we can see that and operator generates the true when all the expressions that are used in the equation are true okay and they're generating true result and in all other cases the and operator results in false result now let's talk about the truth table of or operator and in this case here uh, again we have the two variables the first one is a and the second one is b these are call, i'm calling them variable but here in PyScript they are called identifiers so here we have the a identifier and here we have the b identifier and again these are both boolean now if we apply that a is true and b is true a or b like if we apply the a or b then the result of that expression will also be true because one of them is true in this case here both are true but even if one of them was true the result would have been true in this case here the true and false we have again the true because one of them is true in the third row here we can see that again one of them is true and that's why it generated the true result in the last row we can see both a and b are false so if we say the result if we want to find out the result of a or b the result will be false because both of these are false now let's talk a little bit about the not or negation operator so here you can see that a and b has these results in these uh, identifiers okay so if we apply not to this a let's say if we apply not uh, here not a the result uh, or this true will become false so 
what not does is it inverses the boolean expression okay it inverses the boolean result of an identifier let me show you by example what i mean so let's say here we can see that let me just make a variable comparison comparison variable and if i say two is less than three and two is less than one now here you can see the result of this is true but the result of this is false so the output of this expression will be false because i have used the and operator now if i had used the or operator because one of them would have been true because like two is less than three and the result of this uh, comparison is false so so the overall result in this case the true would be assigned to comparison this comparison identifier because one of them is true and if i just say two is equal to three now both these expressions result in false and the result of this uh, two is equal to three or two is less than one that means that both of these are false and the output of this expression will also be false which will be assigned to this comparison identifier let me just put the double equal sign because if we want to compare two uh, strings or two integers we need to use the double equal sign and this is the like uh, this is used in order to compare two variables or two identifiers okay so here we can see the result of this expression is false which is assigned to this comparison identifier now if i say not comparison and if i assign if i say not comparison here as well now the result of this expression because the result of this expression is false okay and the result of this expression will be true because by using the not operator we are inversing this results okay so this would be true so this is how you can use the not and and or operators in pine script i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them see you guys in the next video thank you